Welcome to The Idea Space, a podcast devoted to sharing strategies and tools to help you make your dream life possible. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, a teacher turned entrepreneur. It's my mission to help women grow their businesses and get what they want without feeling guilty, overwhelmed, or confused. If you're tired of your ideas spinning around your mind and you really want something more for yourself, you're in the right place. Learn how to create the space to make your ideas a reality. I promise if I can do this, anyone can. Let's go. You're listening to episode 111 of the Idea Space podcast, where every week we talk about ways to help you create space in your life to make your ideas a reality. I'm your host, Jen Liddy. I'm so glad you're here with me today because today we're exploring how to get what you want in 2021, even if it feels impossible right now. Now, I promise we're going to talk about exactly how to do that, but I've got to start out with telling you a little story about me sobbing on Thanksgiving morning last week, out of nowhere, sitting next to my husband on the couch. He he had no idea what was going on, poor John. But the worst part for me was that I couldn't figure out why I was crying. I wasn't sad about anything in particular. I mean, yeah, we, we would have been traveling in Ireland and Spain over the holiday week this year. And yes, I haven't seen my extended family in a year. Like there's a lot to be sad about, but this wasn't quite sadness. And I was like, is this malaise? Because everything's just so meh, you know? And I realized that one of my favorite things to do is plan. I like planning trips and vacations. I like planning trainings and content for my audience. I like planning connections to have with friends and colleagues. But now I kind of have this big story about how planning has been taken away from me because it feels so useless, I guess. What, what is there to look forward to? Like, why bother to plan? I mean, everything's going to change on me anyway, right? I was kind of in this whack kind of place on Thanksgiving morning. And what I realized is that Thanksgiving Day was going to be one long ass day of nothingness because I wasn't cooking. We were actually having uh, it catered for our small family of three. We weren't seeing any friends or family because we're quarantining and we weren't traveling anywhere, obviously. So I considered, you know, should I just simply sit in my mehness all day long, just in my jammies with the fire all day long? And but it wasn't like a cozy feeling; it was just kind of a giving up feeling, and that felt worse. So I was like, fine, I'll get up and I'll do something. I played with the dog, I played with the cats, and I got scratched. <laughs> and I was like, all right, what can I do that would feel really good? So I started to make space in the fridge because I knew that food was coming in and we were going to need some space. And then I started to just make room in the pantry. And I was like, oh my God, how the hell does it get to this state where I've got food that's expired and food I'm not using? So I cleared it out. I cleaned it up. I looked around and and suddenly I felt better somehow. And then I was like, let me, let me do the same thing to my email. And good Lord, there were messages from the summer in there that I had not gotten back to people on it. I was like, oh, that's just so humiliating. That's not who I want to be. So I just kept making space, clearing out, taking care of things, whatever you want to call it, because making space suddenly felt like the exact right way to move through my very meh kind of feelings. And it simply helped me feel a little less sorry for myself. It got me out of my head. And then I had some space to think about life one short year ago Back in the beginning of December 2019, I was so excited for 2020. Probably you were too, right? It was going to be such a cool year. Think about if you looked at the calendar, you saw that all the fun holidays were going to fall on Saturdays and like everything would wind up, would like line up perfectly date wise. And I'm a super calendar nerd. So I was like excited about that. And 2020, like just the name of it. I mean, seriously, it's the perfect year to talk about clarity. And I am all about clarity. I knew exactly what I was going to focus on in my business. I knew where my content was headed. We had our travel planned out. Like I had it all mapped out. And now I think about it and I'm like, oh yeah, Jen, the joke is on you. You had such big plans. This Thanksgiving, after kind of making some space and then having the space to look back one short year ago, I had this huge aha and I wanted to share it with you because it doesn't matter what I had planned. 2020 happened in all its glorious shittiness. And I'm still here. 
anyway, and if you're here listening to this, so are you. Whatever you gave up, lost, let go of, or feel anguish about, you are surviving it. Notice I didn't say you have survived it. We are still moving through this, right? I think we're still in pain. I think we have a lot of healing to do, but you are surviving it. And so am I. And so if you're feeling like me and you're wondering like, well, why should I even bother to make plans for 2021? I'm saying, why not plan it to be an amazing, successful year? Because could it be hard? Yes, of course, but so could have every other year that we've ever had in the history in our lives. And I would bet that you actually have had hard years and have had hard things happen to you and you've had to roll with the punches. We have been resilient all along. We have been figuring out the zigs and zags even before the dumpster fire that 2020 became. Please don't stop planning. Please don't stop chugging along. Please don't lose hope about your business and your life. Stop thinking about what you can, you cannot control. Because the truth is, you never could control it anyway. That's a big lesson that 2020 taught me. So what is it you're dreaming of? What is your vision? Seriously, spend some time thinking on your vision. What do you want it to look like? And then you have to make space to allow it to happen. And that's what I am going to be talking about all month this year, 2020, December 2020. We are talking about how to make space to make the room so that 2021 can be whatever you want it to be. Now, I had a clear vision for 2020. The hows, yeah, they didn't work out for me. But my vision, if I zoom up 3,500 feet, 35,000 feet actually, go way up, right? I can say that in many ways, I'm honestly exactly where I want to be in my business model, in my house, in my income, in my health. I just, it just didn't look like it, I thought it would look, right? Please don't give up on your visions. Don't stop planning. So ask yourself, what do I have to put in place once I see my vision, once I know it? How can I make it a reality? What will make that happen for you? And whatever it is, please just get started because who effing knows what fresh hell will come our way? Why not get started anyway? If you're waiting for everything to get back to quote unquote normal or get perfect or get cleaned up, it doesn't work that way. Please don't sit in your mehness. To have whatever you want, you've got to make some space in your life, your mind, your business. So this month, I'm bringing you some strategies to stay focused on making space to keep you moving forward no matter what's in store for 2021. But we have to start here with making space to allow it in. If you want peace or freedom or money, success, greatness, whatever your thing is, you can have it. You just need to make some room inside your life, your home, your mind, and yourself to make sure it has the space to enter. So this is the first week of December. Where can you start to create some space? Let's, let's go with some low-hanging fruit here, right? Like let's not make all the big changes right now. Maybe it's saying no thanks to something small, like a gift exchange or an obligation that you're just like no longer into. Or maybe it's finally carving out the time to clear out that closet or that drawer that you cringe every time you walk by it. Or what's under the bed, you know? Or is it letting go of a job, a customer, a client who drains you? Choose one small place in your life to make space for what's next. And maybe for you, this is saying yes to one of the ideas floating around your head and putting the thousands of others, because I know you've got a million ideas in your brain, but putting that those other ideas in a thought parking lot and just choosing the one to take action on. If you maybe just choose to take action on one of your offers that you've been wanting to put out in the world, rather than trying to do all of them and make them all perfect, but actually getting none of them done. So if you want action in 2021, it starts with planning now. Start making space for your plan. Don't let yourself bullshit yourself by saying, I don't know what I want, or I don't know where to start. Yes, you do, because this has been plaguing you for a long time now. Simply choose one thing and then just start making space there because when you commit, there's like a snowball that happens. I promise it leads you to the next thing and the next thing and the more space that you create and the more room that you make, these little shifts eventually unleash the big growth you're looking for. Remember, this podcast is called The Idea Space and you have got to make space by taking one little piece of action now. 
So I've got a little tool that'll help you make some space by streamlining your content creation strategy. If you in your business are spending hours in frustration or overwork with your marketing content, that's a place you've got to make space. So download my free customized content planner. It's at www.jenliddy.com forward slash planner. My audience has been telling me how this simple system has become a total game changer for them. So grab your copy at jenliddy.com forward slash planner. Now, remember every single week I'm going to show up this month with ideas to help you make space so that 2021 can look way better than you actually think it could be. Thanks for showing up. Please share this with anybody you think could use this message. I appreciate when you give my content to your people. It may just, it just fills my heart up to know I can help more people. And I'll see you back here next week. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to the Idea Space in your podcast app. And tell that friend of yours who needs some help getting where she wants to go. I'd be so appreciative if you left a review because then we can help more women create the space for their ideas too. Go to jenliddy.com forward slash free to grab the many free resources there to help you move forward. And I will see you next time. Bye.